All right, guys, we're back with round two Edison Format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Aaron on the left playing Psychics versus Ian on the right playing Light Sworn. Ian is not from our area. He's from Australia, so first time on hit for him on the channel. I don't know how familiar he is with Edison, but we'll see how he does. Starts off by Million Wolf. Pretty good start for Ian. Oh, he's reading Jane. <laughs> he also borrowed this deck. All right, so he's normal summons Jane, sets one, end phase, mills two, mills gold Sark, and reincarnation. So Aaron, this is actually the second time Aaron's used this deck. I don't know some of the cards, but I'll try my best to explain the ones I don't, the ones I do know, and the ones I don't know. Ooh, Aaron with is that the Edison mat? Oh, it is. The, that's the seventy fifth Shonen Jump mat. Oh, nice. Aaron flexing on camera. All right, so Aaron starts off by setting a monster in two back row. So here. Ian tributes for Celestia, pops both back rows, which is double trap stun. I think he milled a few... Dual sped up a bit, so I couldn't really see what he milled there. Attacks with Jane into Dr. Cranium, so Aaron's going to pay 800 life points. And he's going to search for Dr. Cranium. Searches any psychic type monster. He searches Overdrive, Teleporter, and then attacks with Celestia. Yeah, he has to read his card. I actually know this card because I used to do a lot of cube. I used to cube a lot. And that card was in my cube. Actually, a lot of these cards were in my cube back in the day. So Overdrive Teleporter, you when it's Tribute, I think you can only Normal Summon it. You can't Special Summon it. And then when it's Normal Summon, you pay 2,000 life points and bring out two level 3 Psychic Monsters. All right, so here comes Terraforming. So he's going to get the Brain Research Lab. So that gives you an additional Normal Summon for Psychics, kind of like Swap Frog. But then anytime you pay life points, you, get, you put a counter on it and then... And if the card leaves the field, you'll take a thousand damage for each counter on it. So it's a high, it's a pretty risky card to play, but it, this is more of an OTK deck. If you can OTK them before, you know, before they get rid of your sp spell. It seems like Dust Tornado would just destroy this deck. <laughs> and Dust Tornado is really common in almost everyone's side deck because of Black Wings. I don't know. I'd be a little scared to play this deck. All right. So here it looks like he paid for the. All right, so he tributes for Teleporter. Why do he, why do he pay for the for the Psychic Commander? That's weird. Anyway, so he brings out two Mind Protectors. This one just made... This guy just like... The monsters with 2,000 less attack can't attack. I think that's just like... They're just in there just to be special summoned by Overdrive Teleporter. I don't really know. Th those cards seem like bricks. But here comes Aaron with the Emergency Teleport. Gets Mind Master. All right, so let's see Mind Master go to work. Mind Master tributes the Mind Protector. Yeah, it's a pretty good combo. If only Teleport was at three, maybe this deck would be a little bit better. I guess the the argument with this deck is it, they don't care because they're just trying to OTK you. This is not like a combo deck or a out resource you deck. Or build a board deck. This deck is just gold. It's like it's a glass cannon deck. I'm gonna just try to OTK you. So here, this destructive tron like destroys spells and traps. I think that's what it does. This one I'm not too familiar with. Yeah, you pay a thousand life points. It's right one set spell or trap, so you can't destroy face subs. Okay, that's in, that's good to know. Destroy that target once per turn during the end phase. Destroy this card. This card must be the only psychic type monster you control to activate to resolve this effect. Okay. I'm guessing that's with the destruction effect, destroying itself. All right, so he's just going off. He's going to blow up the Destructortron with Mind Master to get Psychic Life Transfer. This card I know. It's a like it's like a creature swap, but you can only swap other Psychic Time Watch, not, not including itself. So he synchros for what? What's that thing? Oh, synchros for A Colossus. Oh, this game, Armory Arm. Yep. Army Arm Colossal, he's going to equip it to the... Maybe Ian milled some warriors, but he have to mill, like, quite a few of them, which I don't think he has, like... Yeah, this is game. Colossal Armory Arm. So he equips... For those of you guys who don't know, he equips the Armory Arm to the Celestia. The Celestia goes up to 33, and he crashes the Colossal into the Celestia. So he's going to take 28 for his, what, 500. And then 28 again, for some of you guys who don't know, 500. That's how the Colossal Arm... arm OTK works for those of you guys who don't know. So there you go. Aaron takes game one. Let's see if Ian can pull off the backdoor 2-0. 
We saw him win round one. I, would I always try to get the new guys on the... When I get new faces, I always try to get them on the channel. It's my goal. But it doesn't always happen. Depending on what deck they're playing. All right. So game two, Ian just sets a monster and it gets mind controlled. Okay. So it is Raikou and Mills. Mind Protector, Trap Stun, and the Psychic Snail. So the Psychic Snail, I think, is what they use for the OTK. So it looks like he didn't choose to... Yeah, he didn't choose to get rid of the Raikou. So he tributes... So he extra normals, tributes for Overdrive Teleporter. He's going to bring out two level three monsters. What does this guy do? This uh, I think this one's like... Doesn't really do much. The one he just summoned. Yes, this reinforced human psychic board. I believe that's the one he summoned. Yeah. You can remove from play one psychic type monster from Regera to have this card gain 500 attack. Uh, kind of mid. So he synchros with the psychic commander into magical android. So he attacks for 21 with overdrive teleporter. And 24 with Android. And then he's going to gain 18. Android gains for 600 for each Psychic type monster. So that's... And a Psychic deck Android ridiculous. Alright. Let's see. Can Ian... Can Ian deal with this board? Did he bring out Psychic? Can you bring out Psychic Commander with Overdrive Teleport? Is any any Psychic monster... Oh, yeah, it's just new level 3 psych type monster from your deck. So here comes Foolish from Ian. Yeah, Foolish from Ian dumps Wolf. Brings out Wolf. Also, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but both these guys won round 1. Well, I think I mentioned Ian won round 1, but Aaron also won round 1. So here he pops Mirror Force and Android Mills. Lila, Charge, Arcus, and Raikou. Lila, Arcus. Does he have four names? All right, so we're 98 to 35. Oop. Attacks over the Overdrive Teleporter for 200. Um, let me double check this Overdrive Teleporter. I think it only, you, only gains its effect when it's Tribute Summon. No, it can only be used once while this card is facing up on the field. Oh, yeah, you can pay 2,000 life points. Okay, yeah, you can only do it once while it's face up. All right. So, yeah, it looks like Aaron's only got two cards left in hand, the Mind Protector and Defense Mode. It's not looking good for him. Again, this is a very glass cannon deck. Oh, wow, he drew Teleport again. Teleport is at one. I'm... It's been at one... Since Teledad, right? Since Teledad got hit, and then obviously this is like a year and a half after Teledad. I didn't play at this time. So many guys who may have been watching the channel. I actually started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right after Edison, like a month after. It was like when I first when I went to my first local. So it looks like he's gonna pay for Mind Master, tribute the Mind Protector. What can he do? Okay, so he's thinking about getting Destructotron. So he chooses Destructotron. Yep, that was the one that destroyed set, spell, and traps. So it's like a Yaichi. So it destroys the set, and Ian's going to chain Threatening Roar. What can he make? He can't attack, so do you make a Taster here? He can keep paying for uh, Mind Master and just get every Psychic out of his deck. Can Mind Master tribute any monster or does it have to be a psychic? No, psychic. So it's not like Substitute where Substitute you can tribute any monster. <laughs> I think Mind Master you can't tribute itself either. So it's not as good as Substitute, but it's still a good card. Or it has to be in a face up attack position where Substitute, yeah. Oh, it has to be level four or lower. Okay, there's some restrictions to it. Yes, so it's not as good as Substitute, but it's still pretty good. So I think he's thinking about getting the psychic life tran uh yeah, this guy who's a creature swap. I know a lot of these cards from Cube. Like I used to have a, a cube for like all types. 
So Mind Master is like one of the best cards in Cube because you would you could tribute anything, special summon anything. Same thing with Lone Fire for those guys who maybe never cube before. I used to cube a lot. When I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! back in 2016, I used to cube so much. It's a lot of fun, especially when you do all types. Anyways, here he summons a Psychic Life Transfer. You banish the Psychic to gain 1,200 life points. So he's at 10,800. And you got to gain those life points because otherwise if they get rid of that field spell, you just get burned for game. Here comes Avarice from Ian. Returns Wolf, Celestia, Raiko, Lila, and looks like the Arcus. Probably going to leave the Raiko in the grave. Yeah. Or leave the Arcus in the grave. So it looks like he's going to leave the Arcus in the grave. He's going to draw two cards. I like how he separates them. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shiny Black Sea. Yeah, it's pretty good against this deck. I definitely would have sided Shiny Black Sea against this deck. This man's got a nice shuffle. I think my shuffle sucks, so. <laughs> All right, so he's drawing two. Oh, he drew, I think he drew Shiny Black Sea. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to draw that card unless you have Lumina. All right, he's got Mirror Force. Celestia. So he sets a monster. Sets Mirror Force. Forgets to switch to Biomaster Defense Mode. I see. Uh, that, that's... Maybe he, no, no, no. Maybe he kept it in attack mode to bluff an Honest. Oh, that's actually pretty good now that I think about it. So he does have the Honest. So he can Mirror Force or Honest here, whichever one he chooses. So he chooses the Mirror Force. And now Aaron sets one and passes. Draws. Let's see what Ian can do. What did he set? A Raiko or the Shiny Black Sea? He's looking at his extra deck. So he's probably playing a synchro with that Mind Master. All right. Wolf, Honest, Celestia, and Plague. His hand's not that great. Aaron might be able to steal this game because Ian already took 3,500 damage. Yeah, depending on what that... Yeah, I think he set the Shiny Black Sea, I'm pretty sure. So, he tributes Shiny Black Sea for Celestia. So, obviously, Celestia's not going to get its effect because it has to tribute a Light Sworn monster. Attacks Aaron for 23. And will he attack with Mind Master? Switches Mind Master defense mode. He could have kept it in attack mode to use it with Honest if he really wanted to. But, so, yeah, Aaron special summons Cyber Dragon, attacks over Mind Master. And now Aaron sets another back throw and passes. Oh, he just top decked heavy. Oh, hey. <laughs> Trap stun. He's going to burn for 6K. Oh, this is game. Just honest him for game. Yeah, that's game. Let's go to game three. No. Ian. <laughs> you have game. Mm, yeah, he probably... Again, I don't know how much Edison plays. He told me that Edison is not very popular in Australia. So, yeah, he probably doesn't play much. He's probably just going off memory. Like he, I think he used to play during that time. And he's kind of like, ah, I'll join the local. Why not? All right, so Ian forces the third game. Who will move on with a 2-0 record? Aaron the, with the Psychic OTK or Ian from the land down under? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, here comes Gold Sark. Ooh, I expected Ian to play Gold Sark. I guess, what do you Gold Sark in this Psychic deck? Probably Emergency Teleport. That's probably like the number one card that I'd go Sark. Uh, that was not bad, but you played three of that one. Yeah, Ian's reading it. I know the card from Willow Dad. Aaron actually played Willow Dad for a little bit. He did. He actually did pretty well with that deck. I think that's the deck he had the most success with. He made the finals twice with that deck. And I think had he not messed up, I think he had a good chance to beat Lowe's when he and, he and Lowe's played in the finals. He and I also played in the finals. I think against me, there was nothing he could have done. I just, like, opened double shadow mirror on his on him. I'm not saying he would have beat Lowe's, but I think there was, like, one small mistake he made that maybe he could have won the game. Anyway, 
Here Aaron sets a monster. Ian charges double wolf. Great. Not looking good for Aaron. Here I think you search. Ian needs to search Aaron, the Light Sworn Muck. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't see it in his deck. Yep. It's either in his hand, he sighted it out, or it's not in his deck. No, I don't think it's in his hand. Maybe he doesn't play Aaron, because that's what I would go get. Because that set monster is probably a Dr. Cranium, which is going to get a Mind Master. Because he didn't Gold Sark for Teleport. He has one for one in his hand. That's why he didn't Gold Sark Teleport. I probably still would Gold Sark Teleport, maybe. But yeah, there's no Aaron in his deck or his hand. So again, maybe he sighted out or he doesn't play it. But he borrowed this deck. This is Julio's deck. All right, so you search Lila. Tribute Wolf for Celestia. It's a Sangan. Hobby League Sangan. Mills Gore's Heavy, Ryko, Threatening War. It's pretty good. He milled the Heavy, so now you can play your Field Spell. You don't have to worry about it getting Heavy like last game. And you don't have to worry about Gore's if you go for game. So anyway, here he takes 23 and 21. So Aaron's at 36. Tien's 8,000. He searched some Mind Master of the Sangan. Turn one on the Telekinetic Power Well. Yeah, turn one. Yeah, I like Starlight Road because it stops Heavy and JD and Celestia and to protect your field spell. So your Aaron Normal Summons Crab on. going to set Starlight Road and another card. But you know he has Lila in his hand because he charged the Light Brigade. Use charge on it. Okay, so Aaron, was there another card he could have set? Maybe you set the other spell as a bluff? Uh oh. He's got Arcus, Car Trooper, Honest, and Lila. And Lumina. Ooh, he can go off. He can summon Lumina. Pitch for Lila. Let's see what he decides to do. He has a lot of choices. So he chooses to summon the Lila. Target. Snipes the Mirror Forge and not the Star I Road. See, I was thinking if he has Teleport in his hand, maybe you should have said it. Because you knew he had Lila. And here he's going to pay 800 twice to negate both attacks to keep the thing on the field. And then he mills Plague Jane and Monster Reincarnation and passes back to Aaron. All right. Aaron's at 2,000 life points. He's got Teleport. He's got one for one. He's got Telekinetic Power Well. Oh, yeah. He's probably kicking. Kick well, no, I think he didn't want to set the Teleport. Okay, I get it. I forgot about teleport. It gets banished, I think, at the end phase, right? I think that's teleport's effect. That's why he didn't want to set it, but man. Him hitting that mirror force hurt really bad. So he tributes the Krebons for Cyber Dragon, activates teleport. So what do you go for here? Black Rose? Okay, so you side command. He might not have another level two tuner in his deck. Krebons might be the only one he plays. So you get Psychic Commander. So here you go for an 8. But what 8 do you go for? Colossal. You can't make Dark End because you need a Dark Non-Tuner. So yeah, you can go Colossal. Thought Ruler. Probably Colossal to play around Honest. But you lose to Honest anyway. Colossal in Defense Mode just to stall. Yeah, that's, that seems like the play. Colossal in Defense Mode. It's not looking good for Aaron, to be honest. Maybe you just play, hope he doesn't have the... Yeah, he's probably hoping... I hope you don't have the Honest, and I'm going to uh, try to gain some life points. That's probably his game plan. I don't blame him. This is like this is a glass cannon deck from the looks of it, and... Okay, so I think he didn't have another monster to pitch. Because he could have pitched another monster to push something Mind Master from his hand. But he chooses Dr. Cranium. He can bring it on defense, right? Yeah, so that's the only level one he has left. I will say this. Aaron just started playing this deck. I don't know I don't know if he's, like, learned all the combos. Because I don't know if this is an easy deck to play. Probably not. It doesn't look like a deck you can just pick up and play with. So here he honest, and that is game. So... 
Congrats to Ian moving on with a 2 0 record. He needs to win one more round to guarantee a spot in the top four. Aaron's going to have to win both. Still has a chance to make it, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that match, and we'll be back soon for the rest of the tournament. Bye, guys.